So David gets a phone call from one of his friends that he's stuck in a field. Watch the mud. So this is where we are. Come here. Come here. Come here, right here. Yeah, come right here. I got around that. You got around that? Okay. I got around the mud. So, I seriously think the only person we've ever really, really had to pull has always been Bradley. Pee. So, should be fun. You have to pee? Yeah. Um, how bad do you have to pee? A bunch. A bunch? Okay. I had to take a brief potty break. So back to the action. It's stuck. All right, come stand right here. Right here. Come stand right here with me. So we've got the winch line run to the white truck. You want to get David too? Yeah. Zoom out, Link's everybody. Can we see him? Him, Daddy. Yeah, he's in the Jeep with David. Hey, what's wrong with David? Why is he getting out? Because he's got to look and see what they got going on. Okay. Hey, what? what? Yeah, so I can hold you and I can do the video. Who's that? Um, David's friend? Yeah, this one David's friend or one of Brad's friends. <coughs> what's wrong with David? What's wrong with David's car? I don't know what's wrong with the Jeep. What you got? I want to go see Daddy. Okay, hold on, hold on. Because they've got the winch line out, so we can't just run over there. That's um, you got to be careful. Whenever they have winch, whenever they run the line, it can be very dangerous. So we have to be very careful. Yeah, I love your long hair. Yours is longer than mine. It is. It's stuck. David is too? No, David's not stuck. Bradley's stuck. Where are you going, Doug? Oh. Is he stuck? Is he stuck? Yeah, he's stuck. Who's that? This is Bradley. So now we're going to try to pull the front truck and we've got Chris to pull the back truck. So now I, I drove separately because we have Rory. So I drove separately and I am now going to Granny's to go get the tow strap to try to pull the front truck. And they're waiting on Chris to pull the back truck. So it should be a fun Saturday. It's kind of cold. So yeah.
so guess we're gonna wait on Chris. So I'm doing the toe strap. We're gonna check. Now they're gonna check the connection for the winch and try the winch again, I think. So now turning the Jeep around and we're gonna try the winch again. Is it killing the lights or are you killing the lights? I was just clarifying. So, they're working on the winch right now and I'm pretty sure Chris and the big green machine just went by. Sounded like it and I ain't seen it turn back yet. So, it was Chris and the big green machine that went by the first time. Colby's supposed to flag him down. Colby didn't have enough reflective. Look, I hear the truck door. Conk, conk. Conk, conk. See if I can get it to focus. Come on. Yeah, that's Chris out there. He may be getting Colby. There bad. comes the big green machine. Don't what, go through the ditch? You don't need to go through the ditch. No, there ain't the road right there. Oh. So they'll be a little side ditch right there. God damn it. Now it's really fixing to get fun. So, Chris and Chris scoping out the situation over there. Alright, so they tinkered with the winch. We're going to try it one more time before Chris takes over with Big Green Machine. So let me back up. Safety. Just don't bust my butt in the field. Like Chris is fixing to take over in the green machine. So now Colby's gonna pull uh, Colby. Chris is gonna pull directly in front of the first truck and try to pull it with the winch. 
So I've already said I can come get you because yeah, Alex said it was cold. Said, but after you said, told Alex that he could go there, he said, can oh. I go there? Um, Lord Jesus, now I got all the light. Um, so, just to update, I asked Brad how did it to this. He was going to put his lawnmower in his enclosed trailer. And we got two trucks stuck in the field. So, Chris's winch is run off of a, like, remote battery, like a remote. Um, Chris does use a wire line on his winch, so we are throwing something over it in case it was to snap. We have Colby basically standing on the brake in the truck, um, but ducked down, um, so something did go through the window. So here it goes. That's always scary. Look at the mud that was in that wheel. It was full of mud. Alright, one down. One to go. How does boy not, not go like two foot and drop the back tires in the front hole? That mud done got stuck again. Done got stuck. Had to get unstuck. I can't make this shit up. I'm just saying, y'all, it's like 30 degrees out here. And I ain't got no gloves. It's fucking cold. This man really got stuck. After getting unstuck. to the next one to the next one but on the bright side the other truck made it to the end of the field truck number two This truck is slap covered in mud from him trying to get himself out. Everything freezing up on What do you mean? You're just cold? Chemo makes everything. Everything colder. Yeah, I'm about to freeze. I can only imagine how you feel, Chris. Alright. Yeah, throw it over the line. Look, this is Bradley. Come on now. Snap. 
Now Brad's gonna get in this truck because I believe this is Bradley's truck. Colby's on the brakes. I can see water sloshing in front of in front of Bradley. already going and we ain't even got the winch like right not mean to black it out Him, but them back wheels in that big hole. He fixing to be stuck again. Oh man. I'm just saying, I need something warm when I get home because it's fucking cold. <laughs> my fingers. Hey, I can't feel my fingers that are all on my phone. They're so cold. Dude over here driving a big green machine right now. Now just trying to get Bradley somewhere else in the field or out of the field and not get stuck again. He'll send it and get stuck at the end or something. Oh no, he made it. Good job.